good, bright, beautiful morning to one and all. Yes, I've got me in my on. It's absolutely freezing today. So it's the next day. It's my second day back from holiday and I'm still washing. <laughs> Would you believe it or not? It's all right though. I'm just, it's only done some few bits today. So I'm getting through that. Ended up getting through my pile, which ended up up here last night. So that was quite a good stack for I got done. Um, but I've got to come in and try and sort dinner. Now we're all out of like all proper stuff. I want to say proper stuff. Um, I'm just going to see if we've got a packet of rice. And I don't mean that kind of rice, although he'd probably like that. I was thinking of, oh, is that one? No, I think that's an egg. <sighs> Yeah, it's an egg fried rice. I was thinking of doing like a chilli for him. But actually, you know what? I think he might like that. It's rare he gets that because I hate making it. <laughs> so I might do that for him. So I didn't actually have my steak salad last night. I'll be honest, I was exhausted. I was totally trashed after my day yesterday. So I did Danny's bangers and mash, which turned out amazing. Um, but I just ended up having rings on toast. I just wanted something hot, something quick, something easy. Because I was doing, I like, had all the stove for Dan. I didn't want to be messing about getting my frying pan out then for a steak and everything. So yeah, Dan, I'll do that for Dan today. I think he'd like that. But like I said, it's, it's not very good stuff today. Mm, that's a shame, that's got to go in the bin. I think that's two days now that's been in there. It's a tuna roll. They were amazing. <laughs> yeah, so I might have a salad tonight. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fancy it if I'm totally honest. Um, but this is what Dan's choice is. See, what I was going to do is chilli rice and a bit of garlic bread for him. So now I don't know. Maybe some frankfurters with the rice. Yeah, I could do that actually. Yeah, yeah, I might do that. I'll ask him. Although they are frozen. Um, yeah, so just uh, that's all I've been doing all the morning anyway is clinging, 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 and washing and washing. Nearly gone through it, so. But it is a cold one today. Dan's sort of busy doing what he's doing out there today, sorting out his bird feeders and stuff, so. I thought, well, I'll come in then. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what I can do though, I've got me two balls to open, haven't I? I can't shut the door, you see, because I've got the hose pipe through it. Shall we open one of me balls? Shall we? Let's start with series one. Is this series one? No, that's series two. <laughs> now these are just for a bit of fun. Now they're not cheap, if I'm honest. It's not, it's not something you'd really want to sort of get into the habit of buying, especially if you've got little girls. Gosh, I can imagine they'd drive you mad for one of these every time you go shopping. If I remember rightly, these were 10 quid each. So, yeah, quite expensive. Anyway, right. Oh, I've just opened it without even explaining anything. So it says, anyway, these are gonna be like mini, mini things. <laughs> Make it a mini lifestyle. Now these do look cute, so if I bring you down for this, you don't want to be seeing me. Oh, oh, nice one, Mazzy. I've just broke the leg on the tripod. Oh no, that's not good. Easy fix, I just had to push it in. That's never happened before though. <laughs> right, yeah, let's give these a go. So, don't know how to open these. Yeah, so for 10 quid, don't get me wrong, these are cute. <laughs> I can't get into that. I'm, oh, I'm going to have to get a knife. I've got no nails. <sighs> Just having a sort of bit of a quiet, chill, chilled out sort of day today. I say chilled. I mean, I'm still doing stuff, but, but that's the sort of day we're having today. So mini first. I don't know how many series these they do, whether it's just the two. I don't even know what to expect. I've never seen anyone actually open one of these. When I was saying about Kaylee from um, the, the girlfriend of Andrew from Proven Demons, she just showed the actual, some of the items. So let's have a look. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> All right. Okay. Let me bring you down a little bit. So what we got here? Sunshine Candle Co. Co. Now I'm guessing they're not real, are they? I mean, obviously not. Oh, oh, Mazzy. Oh, right, okay, so it's like candle holders in a nice little box, and you get like all like the packaging at the bottom of it. So it's meant to be like a gift. Okay, not too impressed with that one, but it's still cute. <clears throat> What's this? Um, eucalyptus beeswax. <clears throat> yeah. It's even got like it's even got like the label on it and everything like as if you was to go and buy it there's me wanting to open everything but i've got to remember these are just meant to be toys <laughs> you actually get quite a few bits inside i i generally thought there would only be like a couple of bits what's this i have no idea what that is what is that it's wrapped up in this I don't know i don't know what that's meant to be but that's um be bright is what it says on there. Not that exciting really. What are these? <clears throat> what are these? Oh, just like instructions or something, is it? Right, okay. And I suppose this is like the book, show you all the collection you can get. Oh look, cute little fish tank with a little fishy. Oh, that's cute. Okay still not that quite impressed yet now what is that does that go with that i don't know i don't know um small pair of tweezers i don't really know what that is and there's something in here have a sunny day now am i am i actually supposed to open this oh i am what are these are these meant to be drawing pins <laughs> I don't know. What are they meant to be? Drawing pins? 100% bright. Oh, they're candle wicks. They're wicks, look. That's so cute. So you would actually then put it into the bottom of that. And uh, I don't know if it's all kind of related, but yeah, that's cute. I like the way it comes in, like the packaging, like as if you was to buy that now from a shop. Just needs like a little barcode on the back, doesn't it? Okay, that was okay. I wouldn't say I was too over enthusiastic about that one. Um, the things that Kaylee was showing was like some pretty cool stuff. So maybe she had you were doing a different series like this one. No, hers were like food items. This one looks like food items now. So sorry if you're not interested in this. <laughs> Just fast forward a bit. But I brought these now and I really would like to just see what's inside. It's a bit of fun if anything. Oh, okay, you get a little window on this. Oh, now this one looks better. Yeah, now this looks like the stuff, like a little pizza in a pizza box and stuff. All right, so I must remember this, that the second one is the better one that I prefer. So let's see if we can open this. Hopefully we might get some cool stuff in here then. I was planning on maybe collecting them all. <laughs> right, there we go. So what's that? I have no idea what that is. That's going to be something though. Again, all like your instruction booklets. Let's have a quick brief look. So you can get cakes. So you can get all these bits and pieces, pizzas. All right, okay, forget that. That's just boring anyway. So we've got two packages here. Let's open these. What's this? Oh, what is it? It's a jar of pie filler. Now that might be an American thing. I don't really think that's anything we can get in this country hey do you know what it feels like there's actually some kind of product in it it feels heavy maybe there is is there it does say make it mini food make it mini food 
I'm going to have to read the instructions properly on this, innit? I? Maybe they, they give you enough ingredients this, to actually salted caramel. There's something in that. Salted caramel, look. So maybe you are meant to be... There's something in it, but I don't know if it's edible. <laughs> I daren't put it in my mouth. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm meant to be, if, if you generally can make something with it. Look, mini make it, make it mini food. Somebody let me know. I can't read that, that's all torn up now. Right, anyway, so we've got a couple of other little bits. What's that at the bottom? I don't know what that is. M for Mazzy though, look, M for Mazzy. <laughs> so let's put all that in there. So we've got four more bags here. See what this is? Oh, oh, I just dropped something. It's like a little cake slice and a tw again a tweezer. Okay. Well, I did just drop something though. I think it might be a goner. It's a goner. I'm not sure what it was. <sighs> I don't think I'll find that now. And what are these? Happy Sin Farms. It's like a cake topper, like sprinkles, is it? Or is it a box of cookies? I don't know. I really need to know if this stuff is meant to be used. <laughs> or is it edible or is it just for show? There's your pie. Am I meant to be making a pie? Look, I've got a pie filler, a spatula and everything. Oh, I think I'm meant to be making a pie. Oh, I've kind of ruined this video now then, opening this, haven't I? <laughs> I'll have to do it on a different one. And a pie crust. But is it real? Let's see if we can open it. Oh, I don't know if I can open it. I probably can, but... Well, there we go. There's a pie crust. Somebody let me know. Am I actually meant to be making a pie with these? Because I have no idea. So that ain't technically, that doesn't really look like what this Kaylee had actually. But um, yeah, and then that's your pie stand, isn't it? To show it off. Stand it on there. Oh, I see, like that. There we go. Right, anyway, that was a little bit of fun. I've got washing to do. My washing machine's just stopped. So I've got to put now some jeans in belonging to Dan. Just sort of preparing the meal, but I've just actually fished up my George Foreman. I thought, you know, I'll do, I'll use that today. I'm gonna do Dan's um, hot dogs on there, and maybe my steak if I don't end up with rings on toast again. But look, there's so much water in these sausages. Now it didn't say you could freeze them, but it didn't say you couldn't freeze them. So I thought they would have been okay. Just get them out. I just want to get them. They might need to sort of dry in a little bit. Oh, they got um. Yeah, honey, look, they've got writing on these. Does that mean they're cased? They're in plastic, Mazzy. Are they? Yeah. Are they? Are you sure? Well, what kind of pig has Berliner written on it? No. No, I don't think you're meant to take that off. Of course you are. Take, take that off for us. Why is it so done up so tight? So that you can boil them. I don't know. Hold on, let's give read these it. a read. <laughs> Not to panic. Yes, I did have to remove all the casings. What a palaver. What, what, what was the point in that? I have no idea. But right, yeah. So we're all ready to sort of go. That needs to go onto the boil. Dump that in. Wham bam, thank you. Mazzy. Yeah, I still don't really know what I want. I've, I should really have the salad just because I've made it now. I just really don't fancy it. I just fancy a bit of toast. <laughs> if I'm totally honest, I just fancy a bit of toast. But the steak's all good. That's gonna last forever. Well, quite, yeah, it's gonna last for a little bit. Maybe I'll give it to Dan tomorrow if I don't eat it. Good morning, so it is the next day. How are you all doing? Hope you're all good. I'm doing all right. 
bit chilly. <laughs> I'm not the only one suffering though, am I? Right, this morning, as I'd opened those three balls, I've established, I think I might have had to have made those little bits. So I've totally kind of messed that up, really. It could have been a video. Never mind. So this morning, I want to fix my boots. Now, if anyone has been watching me on the Travel Trolls channel, you'll know that I actually fell over on holiday. My knees are still scabby, <laughs> but they're fine. They're fine. Absolutely fine. Thank you. Had some lovely comments. Um, literally, they just gave way. The two. The two legs. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I was fine. But what I did do is I'd only just put on some brand new boots. Well, Dan had bought me some brand new boots on holiday about two days prior, three days prior. Fell over and scuffed them both, as you can see. So it's not just the tips. Yeah, it's the tip on that one. Well, it then sort of ended up being there, which makes me think, well, hold on. These are pavers, actual pavers. Must, they can't be real leather, can they? Surely real leather wouldn't do that. So I was a little bit sort of upset about that. But anyway, I was more concerned about my boots. I was going home, I was crying. I was going, my, my boots. <laughs> I'd ruin my boots. Because <laughs> these were awfully comfy. They really were. So De Dan, bless him, he did actually come back on the last night of at the hotel. He popped out, go and pick a few things up and he came back with a brand new pair for me i was astounded bless him so 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 appreciative for that babe thank you darling but in the meantime I, f I still feel like i still want to try and fix these now we're going to take these to um timpsons but now dan's paid for those i'm thinking oh, okay let me just try and see if i can do it at home then give me something to do rather than take he's talking now so i can't talk <laughs> so i where was i this is what he does to me so now i've lost my train of thought yeah so i thought anyway that i'd try and give it a go but there is one thing with me anyone that knows me <laughs> growing up and all that i do actually like shoes with a bit of character <laughs> it's just me call it scruffy call it whatever you want call them fit for the bin <laughs> but i do actually kind of like a boots and shoes you know with you know, that's memories there, isn't it? <laughs> well, a bit of character, I like character. If I be totally honest, brand, brand, brand new shoes. I don't know, I can't wait for them to sort of wear in a bit and get a bit of character, so. So anyway, I brought some sort of dust cloths. This is just from Tesco's. I really didn't go out my way and all of a sudden I just saw like the shoe polish aisle and I saw that color. Now that's the nearest color they didn't have an, a massive array of colours. They had probably like five colours. Black, dark brown, you know, this and whatever. So I'm going to give it a go. Now, it's not. don't seem like a perfect match, do it? But I'm going to give it a go. And also, what I just did notice, actually, is cherry blossom. Now, this stuff, I love cherry blossom. There's a shoe spray they do with these. And you spray them inside your shoes and I've, i always ha I, I do it with my shoes every now and again and it smells absolutely delicious let me go and see if i can find it this look cherry blossom now i'm not sure if it's the same brand then yeah it's the same brand isn't it this is worth every penny that you might spend on that and you're debating whether to or not it smells so good i'm gonna spray them in my shoes just to get that smell again <laughs> yeah I quite often do this in my shoes and my slippers every now and again oh, oh it's beautiful anyone that uses this will know what I mean <laughs> I could I could have it on a plate or in a mug and drink it don't do that <laughs> is only what I'm saying talking about mug and a drink let me just have a sup of tea it's cold now actually <coughs> right so anyway I'm gonna try and fix these now, I did read the instructions because I thought for this one time, Mazzy, read the instructions. So it says, apply polish evenly and allow to dry. So, which I'm going to do with one of these cloths. Um, and then a buff off with a brush to the desired shine. Now, I'm not one for real shiny shoes and these ain't that shiny. So I hope I, I don't get them too shiny. <laughs> I don't want to look too shiny. And also, I haven't got like a shoe brush. So Dan's just given me an old toothbrush. <laughs> or do, right? If not, it don't matter because I didn't want the shine anyway. And that's the only whole purpose of it, isn't it? Now that smells lovely. 
who likes to smell that shoe polish though something about it now when you open that if you look at the color on that kind of looks like you might get away with it but once you've opened it look i'm a little bit unsure now <laughs> so i'm going to bring it down anyway and let's just see if we can we can try and fix this today can't we and if not like i said it don't matter i've got now a brand new pair anyway but if i can fix it then what i'll do is keep these for like i say scruffies everyday use and keep me other ones for nice so that'll be all right right got a few things to mention on my list of things to mention by the way oh let me just bring you up quickly for this oh so tracy was the one who actually i she sort of i don't want to say one she received the tickets to go and see romish that we kindly sort of gave to her and she kindly gave to her daughter and her son-in-law so that was nice they were getting married i think this year and apparently they had a wonderful time so that's great to hear tracy um that's brilliant because I, I would have been so upset knowing that I, the tickets wouldn't have gotten used uh on last night's video tony rodis thank you so much for your super super duper thanks that is so much appreciated thank you so much and very kind and also this was a strange one now now we didn't really sort of get around to reading this one on holiday you know we're on holiday and stuff um so hi dan and mazzy hope you're both well i don't really want to go into it all really so much but anyway it's for i don't know if it's a her or a she actually anyway let me get to the point terry we'd met terry and irene here once on on our pitch over there and what a lovely couple they were but apparently he's not feeling very too good at the moment and would like for me to give a massive shout out to terry and hope you're getting well so i'm not going to be mentioning um oh no this is the man because he's talking about as well as his wife pauling so yeah <laughs> yeah so i'm not going to go into your health conditions or anything like that you know that's private pete and pauling that's who it's from sorry it is a long message <laughs> so from pete and pauling um it's asked me kindly to send all my love and hope terry gets better so i hope you do terry right so at this point i need to change my battery so I can't say I've never polished shoes, right? But can I say that I remember and how to do it? No, <laughs> it's been a long, long, long time. So I don't know whether to just go full whack on it and just go for it. Cause you know, it don't matter, do it? It's gotta be better. They definitely ain't level. It's just sort of peeling and I don't even know if this is going to work. It's going to be a matter of dabbing it onto the underneath material, I think. Let me see if I can get a good scoop of it. Okay, so it's not as drastic colour as that. Let me do sort of around it as well so it might blend it in. That's not very... Look at the amount I'm putting on. It's not very... Um, see, look. It's not... I don't know not covering it very well is it but i suppose it's better than white isn't it because it does look like then i've really scuffed me boots <laughs> okay so it's not terrible do you know what i'm not even going to bother with the buffing on that because that's soft underneath i'm not actually sort of trying to fix uh polish the liver up am i i'm just trying to pull it onto the material let's see if i can fix this little bit here yeah i fell in a weird way i know <laughs> <sighs> yep, still got me scabs on my knees. I mean, it's, you know, it's blended it in, in it, but, you know, it's not really doing much, I don't suppose. Now, this will be the test, because this is the bigger one, in it? So there's that, and there's the white one. Mm. No, nah, it's not really working, is it? What mind this stuff won't shape <laughs> never mind I'm giving it a go it's definitely i want to say not as bad but it is bad isn't it <laughs> you, you're never gonna be, be able to put the liver back onto it basically are you all you can ever now do is maybe just blend that white bit in 
now I'm going to have a shiny tip on the tops of them, and I? Let me see if I can get just a scoop more. See if I can really sort of dab that into that. Do you know what I might do? Scoop a load onto it and leave it to dry and then just sort of buff it off with the cloth a bit later on. I mean, it's better. Definitely looks better, but they're going to be all right for scuffy old boots, aren't they? Yeah, so I'm going to let that one just dry. Put another hunk of that on there. So I don't know what's for dinner today. Um... I ended up having rings on toast last night. <laughs> Got thing for toast at the minute. Not only that, it's easy. I'll tell you another reason why. Although it might sound lazy, it's not lazy. It, I, it really ain't me being lazy. It's just, it's a kerfuffle. I see it as a kerfuffle. Like, now if I was doing it for Dan, I would do it. But because I'm doing it for me, I feel like, well, I've got options. So what it is, is when I'm using all the oven, the, the hob, I mean, for Dan, whereas I was using, um, uh, what was I using yesterday? Oh, I was only using the George form and actually in a saucepan. Um, then I feel like, well, I don't want to get out more saucepans until I've cleared his, done he, his dinner. But then by then, I'm just fit to go in to chill out myself, you know. <laughs> anyway, so there's the boots. Nothing crazily better about him, but you know does definitely look better they're not white they don't look scuffed as such do they <laughs> did i miss that bit there i don't think i did i think i did do it didn't i yeah that's all i can do in it maybe just keep doing it every now and again and keep that it'll keep adding to the color maybe i should have gotten a darker color there's no fixing them is there really <laughs> Right, so at this point, I think I'm just going to wrap the video up <laughs> because they're not going to change in any way, are they? That is, that's, that is what it is. But I will, a bit later, I'll give it an hour whenever I come back in and just sort of buff it off anyway. Um, if it's drastic, I'll show you tomorrow. Uh, luckily, so what's going on today? Not a lot's going on today, but then Dan's only just surprised me and said he's taking me somewhere in the next um, couple of days for my birthday. <laughs> so I'm thinking, like, as excited as I am, and I'm very appreciative because that's what I, that's the only thing I really love doing for my birthday. I've now got to get the van ready and get everything organised. So no doubt now I'm going to have another load of washes. So basically, I've only got tomorrow. I think I've only got tomorrow now. So, but I can't think of much to do today. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's my last day, I think. I think. Right, anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Hope you all enjoy yourselves. If I do do dinner, I'll start a new vlog anyway. Um, it's only going to be rubbish out of the freezer now because we've got to, we really do have to clear that freezer out now, especially with us going away and that. Um, right, going to love you and leave you anyway. Keep talking and talking and talking. Love you. Take care. Bye. <laughs>